Bolivia, a country of contrasts and natural beauty. Explore the mesmerizing Uyuni salt flats and the captivating landscapes of the south. Get ready for an unforgettable adventure with diverse experiences waiting to be explored. and welcome to Bolivia. We are starting our adventure in the vibrant city of La Paz for the next three days before heading to some of Bolivia's most iconic destinations. La Paz. One of the highest cities in the world is a city of contrasts, nestled high in the Andes Mountains at over 3,600 meters above sea level. If you get here, take the first few days easy and slow because of the altitude sickness. La Paz has a dramatic setting. Buildings are constructed on steep hills with snow-capped peaks in the background. Cable cars were built to ease traffic congestions and to provide a more efficient transportation system for the residents. We continued our way towards the uni, which is probably going to be the highlight of our journey. But before that, we have one more stop at an amazing location. Buenos dias everyone! We left La Paz yesterday and we arrived at our new destination which took us about seven hours with the car. We rented a car for six days because we were making a road trip through Bolivia, mostly the south for the next days. But right now we are going to explore probably the most famous spot in entire Bolivia, I would say so. You probably know what I'm talking about, the Salt Flats. Nestled in the heart of Bolivia lies a natural wonder, the salt flats of Uyuni. Spanning over 10,000 square kilometers, these shimmering salt flats offer a surreal landscape unlike any other. I always say it really does look like heaven. We stayed at a really beautiful hotel constructed entirely from salt blocks, right in front of the salt flats. As I mentioned before, we rented a car in La Paz, but driving with rental cars on the salt flats is not allowed. However, we had an amazing experience with a company that made this day unforgettable. The most unbelievable view for lunch and dinner. It's a location and experience I will never forget. We left Uyuni because we were making a road trip into the south for two days. It's just us two with the rental car, no tour guide, no service on our road. So it's going to be very challenging and I'm excited for the trip. This is going to be something we've never done before. And the trip is going to take, I think, seven hours to get to our first destination. And we are going to sleep at a lodge for one night because in the south you won't really find lots of hotels because there's just landscapes. So we found one lodge on the internet where we're going to stay for one night. And then the next day we're going to explore a little bit more in the south and then we're heading back to the uni.
We drove about 7 hours from Uyuni to our lodge in the south. You will see many animals on the streets and incredible landscapes. The south of Bolivia is really secluded, so there are many things you have to be aware of if you're making a trip by yourself. You will need some extra gasoline and canisters, since the last gas station is in San Cristobal. There are no other gas stations down here. The distance between the last gas station and, for example, our lodge was approximately a 5 hours drive. Also, back in Uyuni, we were only allowed to go to a gas station once a day and there was only one open gas station in Uyuni. They write down your license plate number. The roads in the south are not in good condition. I think the unusual part for me was being on the road for hours and not seeing a single car passing us. It's also easy to get lost on the road. We stayed at a lodge and there are very very few accommodations available. Also, you won't have internet or Wi-Fi on this trip, including at the hotel. And lastly, very importantly, bring cash with you. They only accept cash. So, looking back, I would recommend hiring a guide for a trip to the south of Bolivia. It was really exhausting to do it on our own, even though we love exploring by ourselves. Let the guide take care of it for you. Now, I will finish this video with our favorite spot in the south. Now I have to say this is the coolest spot ever. Smoke is launching out of the earth. See yourself. Sol de mañana.